What's up, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you a duck diving variation that is so powerful, so effective, you will easily get past the break. By the end of this video, you'll know the exact technique, you will use it right away, and you will be able to out paddle anyone, especially on those bigger, more powerful days. So I figured this technique out because I've been using a bigger board at this particular wave. It's the Sweet Potato by Firewire. So it's five foot eight, but it's 41 liters. So it's a boat, but it's, and I found I was struggling to get it deep enough so I was getting caught and I was losing ground on my duck dive. So I started this variation and it's been great. So this clip here, if you look right here, that's me in the front there, bottom left-hand corner. And I'll just use this other guy here for um, comparison of what happens here. So first duck dive comes in and you'll see here, look at this, it's a crazy, a blizzard hits right. So there's my duck dive timing, one leg up, right? So I got one foot on my tail pad sinking my board, but you'll see my second foot comes off and I kind of Superman through. So both my legs come up at the very end. You just barely saw it there. Crazy blizzard here. It was blowing in my face and I was squinting. I could barely see. It was hurting my eyes. It was like snowboarding with no goggles. So again, this is me in the middle catching up to another person and watch this duck dive here. So one leg goes up and I'm just going to creep it. There's two, right? So I'm shooting my board forward like Superman. I'm getting as far, my board far ahead of me as I can and it's propelling me through the water. And if you look, we'll let it play. And see, so the guy that was ahead of me has lost ground. This guy is kind of doing okay still. And here's the other one. So just watch it in real time. So the two legs going back is important. So it was one leg, then two legs. One, two. And then if we look at the results here. So, yeah, so I'm still at ahead. This guy lost his board, which cost him a lot of energy. So I'm just going to pause it right there. So just see the big difference here. That's like... I don't know, 30 feet, right? And that guy was ahead of me in the beginning. And we've all been there, right? You lose your board. You got these ineffective duck dives. You're tired, right? You're just losing ground. You're, it's a losing battle, right? We've all been there. So this video, I'm going to show you the technique exactly as I'm doing it to help you easily get past the break so you can be the guy who's out ahead, out paddling people, getting past the break and having more fun sessions. So with that said, let's show you the technique right now. So that was a crazy clip, eh? Duck diving in the blizzard. Those are intense conditions. So I'm going to show you this technique really quick so first some duck diving fundamentals so it's kind of like posing like yoga um to get it right so it, and this is cool because you can practice it here build the muscles you need to do it so number one is paddle 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 sink the nose so when you sink the nose it's better not to just sink the nose like this you want to place your foot first and then sink the nose so the weight has gone forward my hands are a little bit farther up the nose my foot back foot's getting ready on my tail pad now i like to use so I'm goofy footed, so I like to use my left foot, the foot that's gonna naturally go there while you're surfing. And also, when it is your back foot, it's gonna have your leash on it, so your leash won't get in the way when you're kicking your other foot up like a scissor. So, position number one, sink the nose. So it's almost like one knee down like this. Position two is sink the tail. And so this is giving you counter motion, right? So it's helping you forcefully push it down. So this is one of the most important parts of the duck dive, is being at full extension. Full extension of the arms, full extension of this knee that's down and it gets the board as deep as possible. But what I've been doing now is that as you saw the second foot go out, so it goes like this and I'm pushing. So it's like, boom, like exploding it down as hard as you can. And then as my head's going underwater, that's when I take this foot off the tail and stick it up in the air too. So you can see my both feet were up in the air. But what's happening underwater is I'm getting my board as far away from me as possible. Well, so I'm actually holding up here, right? But so I'm getting out there. What that does, so the foam is what's gonna make you lose the ground. If that gets, if your board gets caught in the turbulence of the water, that's what makes you lose all that ground, and that's what makes you lose your board, right? So if you lose your board, you gotta climb back on, you lose that ground, you waste that energy. Worst thing that can happen. So getting that board piercing through the turbulence, way ahead of you, it pulls your body through because it's floating. And the final, the most important part is placing the board back um, in the optimal spot. So if you, for example, if you do your duck dive and you're all off center and you gotta reset to yourself and then start paddling, that next wave's already there and then you're gonna lose ground, right? So it's important to, even before you're at the surface, place the board at the perfect spot where your chest needs to go so when you pop up, you're immediately paddling. Now I've found on big waves when there's tons of white water, it's like foam, right? It's bubbles, it's like half air. So there's not much to paddle with and you don't float as much so you sink. So I find it's even better, if you can't place it perfect, to place it back a bit more. So you're back a bit more. So like this, because it gives you a little bit better float so your nose isn't super sunk. But the, the closer to perfect you can get, the better. And it takes practice. So the workout to build these muscles is just like this. 
sink the nose, sink the tail, boom, through the wave. Sink the nose, sink the tail, boom, through the wave. Those will build the muscles because this variation, the Superman variation with the legs back and the exploding the board underwater takes a lot more energy. Takes less energy than losing ground and getting knocked off your board though. So that's it. So it's important to note that a good duck dive means nothing if you don't have great paddle strength. So having those combined, great paddle strength, great breath control, great duck dive technique will allow you to get past the break, out paddle other people. So when they're caught inside, you're catching set waves past them, paddle by them again, all the waves are yours. So very, very important fundamentals of surfing, but um, you can see little details make a massive difference. So if you want help with the paddle strength, the breath training, the flexibility, the muscles, all that stuff that goes into this, it's exactly what we do. There's a link below in the description. Um, it's, you can watch a free video. It's called Three Steps to Thousands of Waves. Paddle training, breath training, and what I call surfing patterns. It's a combination of strength and flexibility. Um, you can see, watch that video. And if that video interests you, it'll also show you how you can get involved in our training and be a member of our Waterman uh, program. So that's it. My name is Kyle Russ. If you like these videos, it helps me a ton. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. You can always change your mind, it costs you nothing. So um, I really appreciate it if you do that. That's it. My name is Kyle Russ. This is Hydro Mind. Thanks.